Hello and welcome back to DS TechNero. For those who are new to this channel, here is a quick heads up. This channel is dedicated to deliver training content related to SharePoint customizations. In this video, we will be learning how to copy files from a SharePoint library to another SharePoint library using Microsoft Power Automate. For those who are new to Power Automate, you can relate it to a SharePoint workflow but it is just more powerful than the SharePoint workflow. Earlier, Power Automate was called Microsoft Flow. Microsoft rebranded Flow to Power Automate to better align to other Power Platform services including Power Apps, Power BI and a new bot service called Power Virtual Agent. So that's up for the introduction part, now let's get started. For our demo today, we have a source library and a destination library. When it comes to copying files, we have n number of scenarios depending upon where our source content resides and also depending upon where the source content needs to be placed in the destination folder. Considering that, let us look into the scenario 1. Same level migration or we are going to copy files from SF level 1 to DF level 1. I have created two libraries in the site, source library and the destination library. So my requirement would be in this scenario 1 is to copy files present inside source library to destination library. I'm going to create a Power Automate for this source library and my condition would be whenever a file is created in source library, it should be automated to be copied to my destination library. Let me click on my flow, create a flow. This option will provide me n number of templates on my right hand side of the screen. You can click show more to select whichever template that you like. So I prefer going to this flow portal. I have opened Power Automate portal and inside that under my flows, I'm able to see a couple of flows that I've already created. Now I'll be creating another flow. So on the click of create, I'm able to see a, an N number of templates here. Under that, I, I am going to automate my flow. I can provide my flow name as copy same level. Like in SharePoint workflows, you have a trigger point. In Power Automate, you can provide your own triggers. Next, we have to select our flows trigger. Trigger is nothing but the starting point where your flow event will be triggered and your flow action will commence. Here, my trigger would be when the file is created in a folder. This cannot be suitable for a library having multi-level folders because when you click on this I information button, you can see the information from here like Triggers when a file is created in a SharePoint folder, the trigger does not fire if a file is added or updated in a subfolder. Suppose if your library is having subfolders and if you would like to automate for the files which is added in the subfolder, this may not be the appropriate trigger for you. For my scenario right now, I will select this trigger which will be appropriate. Once when I selected the trigger and clicked on OK, a template is being presented in front of me. The beauty of Power Automate is that it presents you with n number of templates that you can play around with and create your own flows. Now I have a template in front of me which says when a file is created in a folder. It asks me a site address which will be the site address of my source library. I have to select the source folder. Now 
Now we have a trigger placed. Next, we have to create an action. Under the action, I'll be providing copy file. I'll be selecting an action copy file, which is a SharePoint action. And one more thing which I would like to share is that under this space, you will be able to see n number of apps for which the Microsoft Flow or Power Automate supports. When you click on that particular app, then all the actions, action templates available in Power Automate will be appearing in front of you. From here, the, the next action would be copy files. So here it uh, requires current address, current site address, file to copy, destination site address, destination folder. If another file is already there, then what action you have to take? So all these details needs to be filled. I'm going to provide site address, which is the same site that I'm going to use for the source library. We have to provide the file identifier as the input to file to copy. So this file identifier would be a dynamic variable that would be received from the trigger. So when a file is getting created in a folder, which is our library, then this uh, Power Automate Power Flow will be triggered and once it is getting triggered it will catch hold of the file which is created and it also catch holds of all the properties of the files so we can use the dynamic content over here so once you click on this option you will be finding two different menus here which is the dynamic content one is the dynamic content and the other one is the expression so we will go to the expression a little later right now we'll concentrate on the dynamic content so in this dynamic content under which we can see over here when a file is created in a folder so this was our trigger so this trigger when it runs it provides us the below dynamic content under which we would get file path file name file identifier, entity tag, content type, and file content. Now, we would map file identifier, which is the dynamic content, to the file to copy. Next, we need the destination site address. The destination folder. This option comes handy to us when a file is already present in the destination library, then what action that you need to perform, whether you have to replace it, whether you have to fail this action or copy with a new name. I'm going to give this as an action here. Let's say our automate that we have created. Now, once you go back to the previous page, you will see the option over here. Just like in SharePoint workflow, SharePoint designer workflow, you will see the workflow details and the triggers and much kind of information over there regarding your SharePoint workflow. Similarly, we have certain kind of details over here, which provides us the flow name, owner, and the status. It also provides the run uh, results the connections that we have and the owners. We have not run the flow. That's why we do not have any history over here. And now let's test the flow that we have created. Going back to the source library, let's add files in it. Now I added three files in my source library. These files would be copied to my destination library. And these files will be still remaining in my source library. Let me refresh. My source files are copied in my destination library. So 
right now we have performed a same level copy or a same level migration next we will see the scenario of copying files from a multi level folder structure to our destination folder in this scenario we have a file level folder structure where the first four are folders and the fifth or the last one are the documents so it would be migrated so we would like to copy these files to our destination library under department folder under employee folder and their corresponding files tricky isn't it so let's try to accomplish this scenario moving on to the site again i'm going to alter the source library to suit my scenario under which we will be having department folder under the department folder we would be having site location zone 1 employee folder let's name this employee bob williams under which we will be having data so let me upload these uh, files so for this scenario rather than using the same trigger which is when the file is created we will be using a different trigger let us prepare our destination library as well so in our destination library we have department we have employee and file department let me create employee bob williams now it's time to create a flow i'm going to do the same thing in the previous scenario i have created the flow from here now if you have your flow already open you can create from here as well i'm going to create an automated flow over here i'm clicking this give suitable name for your flow in the previous uh, scenario we have used when a file is created in the folder right now i'm going to create a different trigger so what i'm going to do is to skip this process and i'm going to manually add the trigger onto the flow so when i skip that process my power automate portal will present me with options like we added action we have an option to select triggers here i can filter my triggers based on the app that i'm going to use i have selected sharepoint and the triggers are filtered according to my sharepoint app now you have n number of triggers over here so my trigger would be for a selected file this would be more appropriate because we are dealing with files similar to the previous scenario we will be giving the site details source library new action similar to the previous scenario let's go on with a copy and the file identifier would be id over here destination address destination folder when you click on this arrow you would be getting the subfolders inside our destination folder department bob williams so for all the selected files it will be moved under bob williams we do not want this we need our flow to understand for what all files that will be selected under their respective employee folder should be copied to their respective employee folders under our destination library so let us bring logic over here let's add an action for this we need to capture few parameters that was dynamically loaded when a file was selected for that let me initialize the variable 
let me call it full source folder path this would be my array and here we will be having an expression we will be splitting a dynamic variable which is the folder path so this there are certain inbuilt functions which power automate provides you to use it according to your requirements so one of which is a string operation called split function here we would be giving the dynamic uh, content okay i don't have any dynamic content available over here maybe this trigger has not captured enough dynamic property for me to use it over here so let me get the properties by an action get file properties it is the same address that we will be using over here library name id which we got it from the selected file okay now we will go to the initialize variable expression in one single step so split open braces go to dynamic content now it is appearing folder path so click ok from this array i would be picking up the parts of my folder path this is my folder path for any files present under bob williams and from that folder path i'll be picking elements as department and employee folder name so which will help me navigate to the corresponding department or employee folder under the destination library so this is how we are bringing the logic to connect the source files with the destination location the next variable to be initialized would be department in our scenario we have only one folder named department but in reality you will you might have multiple department folders with different department names so in that case we need to capture department name here under expression i'm going to pick the parts from the array my array is under dynamic content i have source folder path which was my variable under expression type let me uh, delete it under expression you can type variable so i want source you can either look at your variable and type the name otherwise a quick trick would be select it when you select it it will appear in this way and delete the rest of it here library is zero then you have department so i will be capturing my department at in this one okay next i'm going to capture employee name string and the value similarly variable here we have the source library at 0 department at 1 site location at 2 and zone at 3 and our employee at 4 click okay we have captured department and employees so we have to employ the same path here remove this keep it destination library and click here you have dynamic content over here place 
department, employee, and here separate each of them by a slash. So your folder path is formed. Save it. The status is already on over here. Let's go to our source library. When I click a file under flow, I'll be able to see my uh, power automate that we have created right now. And you can see this weird naming convention because we have not named our flow yet. So that's why it is providing all information like API connection, file, copy file, initialize variable, get file properties. So let us go rename it. Okay, performing the action again, select the file to be copied, click on the flow. My Power Automate name has been changed to the new one. Select it, it will prompt for permission to trigger the flow. Press continue, run flow, it has started the flow. Let's go to department under the board. There are no files copied to the destination folder. So let's check our uh, history. So the flow has failed. Okay, so it says that our split expression is not correct. So let us correct that. Here in split expression, we have provided the folder path, but we have not given the delimiter or the separator. So that was the error. I'll update my expression, save it again, and go back to the source library and initiate the flow again. Flow, run the flow, go back to my destination, refresh it, and now you can see the selected file has been copied to Bob Williams. So to make it more trickier, let me create another folder. I'm not sure if this is the actual name, but I'm just entering for the test purpose. Okay, we have right now we have two employees. I'm going to do the same function again. Select the file, run the flow. Go back to the destination folder, refresh it. Let me go inside uh, Bob Sandiers. No files present in him. And Bob Williams, we have two files. Go back to source library. Let me create the corresponding Bob Sandius folder. Create. Let me copy few files over here. Let me select. Run the flow. Right now I'm running the flow from a different employee folder. Let's see if our Power Automate understands where to copy the file. Go back to the destination library. Refresh. Bob Sanders. Yes. So this is how in our scenario, under a multi-level folder structure, the contents can be moved to the destination library under appropriate folders based on our Power Automate logic. So this is the logic that we have built. We First, we have created a trigger for a selected file. We got the properties of the file. We initialized three variables. One, to capture the folder path from the array that has been captured using the indices. We have captured the department and 
the employee folder which is the two level folder structure that we have in our destination library then we have copied the file under copy we have marked uh, the file to co copy as an identifier and this identifier identifies the file that was selected in the source library. We have framed the destination folder accordingly and provided condition to operate when a file is already existing in the destination library. We have also seen some pr trouble points and how to solve them immediately and test the power automate and perform your desired flow. So guys, if you like the content presented in this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. As I said, this channel is dedicated to deliver content related to SharePoint customizations. So please stay tuned to our channel to do more customizations and developments in SharePoint online and SharePoint related frameworks. Thanks for watching. Much love. Keep learning.